All right, Wally and Wiz here. We're in Condo Canyon. Bunch of people on the airship. We're letting them kind of thin each other out. Wait for an opportunity. Oh, one's coming down. I'm chasing him. Wizzle takes his drum or auto and just drops it. So I asked him, I said, hey, you got an auto, right? He said, yep. So I took that and uh, dropped my Maddie. Deploy the shield keg. This night we had really spent the whole night finishing second place because the third place team would run into us and then we'd get third partied by the first place team. And so with no building, you know, that's obviously a concern. If somebody takes some of your health, you're screwed. So, you know, we're, we're thinking, I think everybody's thinking the same thing. You don't want to be the team that engages the third place team if you're in the final circle. See that guy? Pot shot him a little bit. Um, see if we can't draw him down to us. Certain parts of the airship are way more open, so he's in a way more open part. Went him down here and let Wiz know, you know, they can see it from up there, so be careful. Here they come, following him. 53 on him. It's a perfect sandwich maneuver. He go. All right, so this is fun. We got a guy driving around in a car, and we don't like that. We don't like cars. So we burst this guy, and I don't know if this is normal, but it seemed extra high. Look at this. I, above airship level, it looks like. Incredible explosion. And then we're just tracing him. He's in those bushes. Where is he? Where is he? There he is. <laughs> Knocked him down. Time to go thirst him. Now this guy does something I see I see sometimes in good lobbies. This guy drops all of his stuff. He's trying to convince me that he is dead. He's like, there you go, all the stuff's out. Um, you know, no threat. Hoping that his, his partner can come save him. Um, that's not the case. I'm gonna shoot you anyway. All right, so we're in Chonkers Speedway. We've got, um, we were just kind of roaming through, seeing if we could get some ammo, seeing if we can get some weapons. And then I saw somebody walk through, they're fighting. So again, we wanna be that third party. There's enough people here that we expect to be able to heal. Um, see the guy through there, knock him. Go ahead and thirst him, which maybe wasn't the right move. Maybe the better move is to, um, is to let, his buddy go to heal him, but his buddy died anyway. And then we're left with this guy. And he go. Okay. So now we have 14 people. And we're trying to hide from this battle bus, but he, this battle bus had our number. So this is amazing survival encounter. Battle bus comes over. The guy's got the turret gun. He's going nuts on me. Um, you know, it's short range. I don't have any explosives, but Wiz is like, I'm down here in a bush, man. You just got to get down here. So, um, sure enough, we do. And there was tons of groups there. So we thought the battle bus might just forget about us, use the splash, get back to full, uh, and then get away from that stupid bus. So now we're in the gas station by Butter Barn and we're like, we got to make a run to the Butter Barn. So people have been fighting. There's five other people uh, left in the match besides us. Call out the purple drum gun. We get in here. We know people have to be in here. And that battle bus is still going on. So I tell Wiz, let's get in the basement. So if, he, if this bus drives through, they're going to be taking out the building. But if we're in the basement, you know, we're not going to take damage. Uh, we're, we're not going to be revealed. So we get down here. Pretty good strategy against cow catchers, I think, is to get... Uh, if it's a big enough building, you can get high, um, but in a building this size, you know, low is also good. So there our ceiling got ripped off. So I say, let's get over here. Let's, uh, again, we just want them to fight. And we're really hoping all of them are taking out that battle bus because that, that's going to be a pain to kill if not. It definitely sounds like there's a lot of shooting towards it. I think they finally got out and abandoned it. Um, and now there's a fire. So, 
uh, kind of gave us a lot of things to think about. But um, again, we're trying to be that person that comes in and 30, third parties, uh, number the second and third team. So we got footsteps, we got a crown on the ground. Um, we're waiting for them to engage so that we can, there we go. So they're engaging. That was just a, it seemed like a pot shot. Now the shooting gets a little more consistent. All right, time to go. So, see a guy to the right. Don't like that. He could spot us. So go ahead and put a bunch of damage on him. Drop him. Guy up there. Close the gap. Pull out the drum gun. This guy was obviously softened up. Just one shot. Uh, let me just have two more people. Um... Forgot to reload there. Two more people, but I think one's on the ground. So really, I'm against one guy. And there we go. So we finally got to be the party that comes in and uh, third parties him. Bruno Mars Paisley suit. Really gorgeous. Uh, enjoyed playing with that. Once you get five kills, you get the full suit jacket and the pants, I believe, which is nice. It, it really looks good. Might even be a little camouflage if you're out in the woods. You never know. Um, so what do we end up with? I think five kills, maybe? Seven kills, three assists. So pretty good match. Again, patience paid off. Take care.